Have you ever paused, to wonder where money comes from? How do banks create money out of nothing? Do banks really create money out of thin air? These are questions that have long been shrouded in mystery and misunderstanding. In this video, we take you on a journey to uncover the truth, behind money creation in the banking system. But to understand how banks create money, it's important, to understand the concept, of fractional reserve banking. Fractional reserve banking, is a system by which banks, are able to lend more money than they have in their vaults. This is done by extending loans, to customers in exchange for deposits. Actually, banks take in deposits, and loan out the same amount, plus a fractional reserve rate. This fractional reserve rate is typically around 10%, meaning that for every $100 a bank takes in, they can lend out $110. It is quite interesting, because the money they lend, doesn't come from the deposits they've taken in. It comes from the interest that is charged on the loan. This is exactly, how banks are able to create money, out of nothing. They are essentially creating money, by charging interest on money, that doesn't exist. To better understand this, we made sure to visit a small local bank. What's the process behind money creation? We asked the banker. To our surprise, he replied, Well, it's quite simple. We take deposits from customers, and then we use those deposits to make loans. So, basically, we continued, You're creating money out of nothing? He shrugged and replied, I suppose you could say that. We decided to call a few more banks to get a better understanding. To our delight, we almost always got the same answer. Banks create money out of nothing? We asked. Yes. They would reply. We create new money whenever we make a loan. Of course, we thought this was too good to be true, so we decided to take a deeper look. We dug into the archives of bank records, and discovered that the reality, was far more complex, than we had initially thought. It turns out, banks don't actually create money out of thin air. But rather, they expand the money supply by creating loans. Banks don't actually lend out their own money. Instead, they simply use their customers' deposits as collateral. Banks can then issue new loans, with this collateral, effectively creating more money. We learned that this system works well, as long as people don't default on their loans. If too many people do default, banks can quickly find themselves in trouble. As a result, it's important for banks, to carefully screen loan applicants, and keep track of their loan portfolios. But is this a good thing? Well, it depends on who you ask. For some, this system allows banks to provide credit, to people who may not otherwise, be able to obtain it. It allows businesses to expand and grow, creating jobs and stimulating the economy. On the other hand, this system is also open to abuse. Banks can increase the amount of money they loan out, beyond what is actually in their vaults, which can lead to inflation and other economic problems. So, do banks really create money out of nothing? Well, the answer isn't a simple yes or no. Fractional reserve banking is a complex system that has both positive and negative implications. Ultimately, it's up to individuals to determine whether or not, this system is a good thing or a bad thing. And there you have it. We hope this helps to shed some light on the mysterious world of money creation.